job, Einstein. So I'm really, really, really impressed. We walked over there by that truck, and then we walked back down this path and over there towards those women on horseback. And he let me get close enough to have a, conver a very short conversation with one of those women on her horses. Impeccable. He did not growl. He did not bark. He was a little bit anxious, but, you know, just kind of eyeballing. He was not straining to get away on the opposite side of the leash. He did absolutely fantastic. This proves to me this information, <laughs> this is wonderful information to know because it means he is 100% capable of doing that exact thing around y'all. It just, we just have to break the thought pattern that he's established where he's allowed to do what Einstein wants because we're not allowed to always do what Einstein wants. Because see right now the leash is shortened back. Good boy. He's walking at a really good speed. Easy. Okay, as soon as I say that he got a little spooked and bird scared him. Good boy. What? Good. Good sit, Einstein. And notice I'm not asking him. Okay, that's fine. He doesn't want me to touch him right now. Where? Good. Okay, let's walk. Easy. Not like we're starting out of the gate at the Kentucky Derby. Good. Good. What? Good boy. That's beautiful. Okay, let's walk. Good job, Einstein. So, um, shoot. I completely forgot what I was about to say. But, no, it's gone. It's probably not going to come back. Come back in a minute. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. I'm not asking him to do a whole lot. I'm kind of trying to stay out of his brain. Good boy. Because he's been really, really good. Me not asking him to do anything, that's his reward. Because he doesn't necessarily want treats. He's not really food motivated, which is okay. Some dogs just aren't. Come on. Good boy. Whoa. That's okay. He didn't whoa when I asked him to, so we're going to make another circle in the exact same spot. Come on. Good. Whoa. And you may be kind of able to... Whoa. Okay, that's fine. Another one. That's okay. Come on. He thought about it. Come on. Einstein, whoa. Good boy. And yeah, you can kind of see in the side of the camera here, I'm using my hand to also direct him. Whoa. Good boy. That's okay. He's too far that way. He's pulling on the end of the leash just a little bit. Pulling on the leash at all is unacceptable. Come. Good. Good boy. Good. Good boy. He got a couple feet closer to me. And I do have my hand just kind of on the leash right now, but it's very gentle. Good. Good. Easy. It's mainly just because I can feel better with my fingertips than I can with him pulling against this area, um, what's attached to my bag. Easy. I can feel it, but this is easier. Good. Where? Good boy. And because he does have what I call run back to the barn syndrome, where he's like, oh, we're done with our walk and Einstein's tired. Einstein's going to get back to the car as, whoa, fast as possible. That's okay. We don't, we, we, we're not going to do that. Good. That's okay. I want him to face the other direction. Whoa. Good boy. And we're going to walk in a different direction. We're going to walk this way across the field instead of up that way. Come on. Come on. Good boy. He says, what are we doing? Come on. Whoa. Good boy. And he did take a couple steps, but it was like a step and a half. Okay, now you're walking. Come on. Whoa. Walk. If he's not going to stop on command, he can work. Come on. I can make resting a privilege, and I will. Come on. Come on. Come on. Whoa. There. It took him just a second to process, but he's not in front of where my hand is. I have an ant on me. Excuse me. Okay. Come this way. I'm going to throw him off and I'm going to put him on my left side. Because for some reason that automatically slows him. Whoa. Come on. And you're going to stay on my left side. Yeah. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. 
And I don't really care. You're okay, come on. I don't really care if I have to walk at a glacial speed while he's on this side. He's gonna have to learn how to walk on the left side of my body. Good boy. Because sometimes this is the side that's further from traffic. Good job, Einstein. Good job. And I'm not letting him get too far behind my heel. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Hey, how are y'all? Come on, walk, walk, walk. Good, walk easy. Good boy. Easy. Easy. So people passing definitely, definitely, definitely makes him apprehensive. Oops, sorry. Come on, let's walk. Are you okay? There's a bicycle over there in the woods. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. And I do kind of have my hand on this leash, but it's just to kind of guide it and help keep him on the left side of my body. You're okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Good boy. And I'm being extra, extra, extra careful to not pull on him. Good boy. Good boy. Good job, Einstein. And I'm kind of looking at him out of the corner of my eye. Not making direct eye contact. Because that freaks some dogs out. And that's okay. So I'm not going to do it. Good boy. Like I said, if I have to walk extra slow right now to keep him pretty much in line with my heel, that's okay. I'm willing to do that. What I'm not willing to do is walk extra fast for a dog. They walk my speed, not vice versa. And if he's not right here at your leg, he's not in the right spot. Come on. Good boy. Well. Good. Well, we're going to make a circle to the right. Good. Where? 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 Another one. Like I said, I can make sitting down and resting a privilege, and I will. Come on. Where? Good boy. So he's still on my left side. He's facing the direction I want. I'm going to put him back on my right side. Good. Come on. Good boy. Easy. But if you're going to walk too fast, I'll put you back on my left side. You get one trial to walk back on the right side. And if he starts walking too fast, well, sorry. Sorry, muchacho. Come on. Good boy, and again, my hand is just on the leash, kind of directing. Good boy. Good boy. Every walk you take needs to be a training walk until he can act like this for you guys. Come on. Good boy. Come on. Because he is antsy. But I'd rather a dog be a little bit fidgety and a little bit anxious rather than a dog that's going to try to charge people because we can make a dog more confident every day we can <laughs> there are so many things we can do to build confidence in a dog however aggression well an apprehensive protective behavior like that can 100 percent turn into aggression well 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 oops sorry the car's unlocked which makes it very difficult to get in there Good boy. And I'm not going to ask him to sit on the gravel because that could be uncomfortable to his little butt. So, good boy. I'm going to unlock my vehicle. Good boy, Einstein. Good boy. I'm going to talk to him real gentle. Oh, nice and easy. Where? He stepped forward. So, I'm going to take my hand off the truck door. And I'm going to back him up. Where? And Lauren, that's what I mentioned to you. See how I just kind of like step, and really I just kind of leaned towards him and he backed off. He's very sensitive to pressure. And pressure, and I don't mean I'm touching him. I'm not pulling on him, obviously, because the lead, I'm not even touching the leash. But I'm standing in his way, which means I'm blocking him with my body. This technique is called body blocking. And it is one of the most effective things in the world to use to teach a dog Come on. Especially one that doesn't really care about a treat. Come on. 
we're going to walk away from the door because getting in the car is my choice. What? Come on. Good boy. What? 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 You're okay. Good job. Good job. We're going to step over here. Good boy. And again, I'm not pulling on this leash. I just have it with my finger because we're in a parking lot and parking lots scare me. So I got him nice and short if I need it. Well, he's moving without my consent. So I'm going to push him back with my body. Good job. And I've kind of got my feet like in a fort in a night. What? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good sit. Good sit. Him sitting is even better. I like that. Good boy. Because that's him relenting entirely. He backed up a couple steps too. Good job, Einstein. If I thought he would take a treat from me, I'd reward the heck out of that with like five or six treats. One, two, three, four, five, right after the other. Okay. Now we're going to hop up in the car. Jump, jump, jump. Good boy. Good job, honey. Now I'm going to offer him some water and turn the AC on for him. And we're going to head back to your house.